Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished delegates and honored guests, today I stand before you as a passionate advocate for gender equality and women's empowerment. Our world faces complex challenges, from climate change to poverty, from conflict to pandemics. But amidst these trials, there is a beacon of hope, the untapped potential of women. We all know mothers are not just biological nurturers, they are the architects of our future. They shape young minds, instilling values, knowledge, and compassion. When we invest in mother's education and well-being, we invest in generations to come. Imagine a world where every mother has access to quality education, health care, and economic opportunities. It's a world where children thrive, armed with the wisdom passed down from their first teachers. Women bear immense responsibility for their families, communities, and the planet. Their roles extend beyond mere caretaking. They are the backbone of resilience. When women participate in decision-making, peace negotiations, and conflict prevention, societies flourish. Their unique perspectives foster empathy and sustainable solutions. Women's emotional intelligence is an invaluable asset. Compassion, empathy, and understanding bridge divides. They heal wounds and build bridges. Let us recognize and celebrate this emotional strength. It's not a weakness. It's a superpower that can transform societies. Women often see the bigger picture, the interconnectedness of issues. They understand that environmental degradation affects health, poverty impacts education, and peace is essential for progress. By embracing holistic perspectives, we can address complex challenges more effectively. Women's voices must be amplified in policy discussions and decision-making. Women throughout history have shown much patience in the face of adversity. Patience is not passivity, it's resilience. Women endure hardships, juggling multiple roles with grace. Their patience fuels progress. Let us honor their sacrifices and create environments where women can thrive without sacrificing their well-being. Gender equality is not a zero-sum game. Men and women complement each other. Together, we build stronger societies. When women participate in the workforce, economies flourish. When men actively engage in caregiving, families thrive. It's a win-win. Ladies and gentlemen, as we discuss the future of our civilization, it is imperative to confront a pervasive challenge that hinders our collective progress, the animosity towards women. This deep-seated bias not only violates the fundamental rights of half the world's population, but also severely compromises our quest for sustainable development. The animosity towards women manifests in various forms, discrimination, violence, and systemic inequality. It is a barrier that prevents women from contributing fully to society's advancement. When women are marginalized, we all suffer the consequences. Economies falter, societies stagnate, and the fabric of our communities unravels. The adverse impacts of animosity have numerous consequences. For example, gender-based discrimination in the workplace leads to a significant loss of potential human capital and economic output. Violence against women and girls has devastating health consequences, impeding their ability to access education and health care. The exclusion of women from policymaking on environmental issues results in less sustainable management of natural resources. To those who harbor animosity towards women, let this be a wake-up call. Your actions are not just an affront to women. They are direct assault on the very essence of sustainable development. By undermining women's rights, you are compromising the future of humanity. We all in this gathering acknowledge the indispensable role women play in fostering a resilient and sustainable society. Everyone, every organization and governing body needs to implement policies that ensure equal opportunities for women in all spheres of life and create educational programs that challenge gender stereotype. S and empower women and girls to reach their full potential. Ladies and gentlemen, the path to sustainable development lies in empowering women. It's not just a moral imperative, it's a strategic necessity. As we work towards the sustainable development goals, let us remember that gender equality is goal five, but it's also a cross-cutting objective. Let us also pledge to eradicate animosity towards women. Let us build a world where women are respected, valued, and empowered. A world where sustainable development is not just a goal, but a reality. Together, we can transform animosity into harmony, barriers into bridges, and challenges into opportunities.
Let us rise to this occasion and pave the way for a future where every woman can live with dignity, equality, and freedom. As we work towards sustainable development, Goal 5 must permeate every policy, budget, and institution. Let us commit to a world where women's rights are not negotiable, where their voices echo in parliaments, boardrooms, and classrooms. Together, we can build a civilization that thrives on equality, compassion, and shared responsibility. Thank you, and may our collective efforts pave the way for a brighter, more sustainable future.